I'm Oli Maya, and this video is about how to use variable fonts in CSS. Let's start. Um, I, have, I have prepared something for you. So it's a very, very basic, simple HTML file. And uh, on the left, you see this, we can refresh it and let's start. So the first thing you want to do is actually to add some CSS style. So type in style, um, oops style CSS. Uh, you would usually do it in a separate file, but for this demonstration, it's totally fine to uh, have it in the HTML file as well. HTML file as well. And uh, then the next thing is to import uh, the font. And this looks pretty much like that. So you have um, a font family called very, then uh, a source which lives in a separate folder. Um, you see this in here. So you have here the font file, here's the HTML file, and this is this setup. So we can call this and then we need to save it and then refresh, nothing happens like expected. So we need to set something, for example, the body and use the font. Save it, refresh, and now we see our variable font with the basic um, settings here. So if you want to be more precise in there, you can and um, specify, for example, uh, the H1 and P um, with non common values. So save it, refresh, and now you see the difference in here. Um, this is only for font weight. I know that my font, this font has only an, a weight axis from 50 to 1000. This might be different from font file and variable font to uh, a different one. Um, so you can also s specify these weights in here and then use um, other values like bold and then it should be bold or in here bold um, save it refresh and see you see it um, if you have um, you can also set it in, in different in a different command so this font variation settings would work in the same way so you see it's width which is not part of this font. So I delete this and um, now again, one, 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 uh, delete this and save and refresh it. And now we're back with this font style. And that's basically it. Um, have fun, take care.